Hi everyone, this video we're going to look at this thing, it's an adjustment layer. We stick it on top of all my clips and then we can add our look to that instead of doing it each individual for every clip, okay, and it's really easy to adjust. Cover everything up, we can turn it on, we can turn it off, all in just one lump rather than trying to do it for every single clip. Let's jump in now and I'll show you how to make it. So to create our adjustment layer, what we're going to do is we are going to go back to our kind of project panel. Okay, if you can't find it, little double arrow, it's this one here called project, go to that one, and we're going to stick it in here, and I'm going to do it wrong to start with because I know everyone's going to do it, and I'll show you how to fix it. So we want to add uh, an adjustment layer, you do use it using this new item, little tag down the bottom here, a little turned up page, click on that, and for some reason they're not alpha numeric, you got to find adjustment layer, okay, I have to look for it every time, click on that, and you get an adjustment layer. Okay, it's going to match the same height and width of the sequence they have open, so it's all going to be perfect. We're just going to click OK. The trouble with it, it's going to go into like a, wherever you have had selected. In my case, it ended up in Cam B. You're like, I don't want it to be in there. Do you remember how to get it back to the kind of like the root folder? Okay, right back at home base. Do you remember? You do. I knew you would. If you click it and drag it to the left, kind of drags out everything and kind of appears at the top here. I'm going to leave it adjustment layer. But you can double click it and give it a name. Okay, let's call it adjustment layer, let's call it color grading. Just to be clear, because you can have more than one adjustment layer. Now it's in here. Another way to actually create one, if that doesn't work, go to File New. It's in a weird place. Where is there? Uh, where is it? Ow. I can't even see it. Adjustment layer. Why aren't you alphabetically ordered? Anyway, okay, you can edit there. If it's grayed out, it means you don't have a project panel selected with the blue line around the outside. All right, we're getting there. Okay, so to add it, you kind of click it and drag it, and we're gonna add it above all of this video. Okay, so that works good to me. I'm getting right back to zero, zero. I'm gonna just start it there, and I'm gonna drag it all the way across. Now, this is the bit where you're not gonna like me much. The last video I said, add your color grading to every single clip, and you're like, man, it's gotta be an easier way. This is the easier way. <laughs> so a bit of pain. Now you're gonna find the awesome version, and you're gonna be relieved. Okay, step by step, we're getting better. Okay, so what I want you to do now is click on every clip, okay, and go and set them back to none. You're like, he's not kidding, he's there. He's better be joking, I'm not joking, sorry. Go to set them to none. You can do a little trick, okay, um, where you can go through, click on this one, okay. Actually, I'm gonna zoom out and try and drag a little teeny tiny box across all the ones I haven't changed, okay, like that. Oh, you can't do it that way. Okay, <laughs> easiest way is probably click on it and just turn the tick off creative. So it's turning everything I did in creative off. That's maybe a slightly quicker way. I'm going to speed it up now. All right, sorry about that. All right, so why? Okay, it's because we can apply it just to this one adjustment layer and it will cast its color grading goodness across them all. It's best to color correct each individual clip, okay, unless they are all shot in the same um, scene, like a lot of my how-to videos, nothing changes, so I can do it for the adjustment layer. But often you need to correct for every single clip because they're all, the shoes are shot in a different room from um, this one, potentially. All right, so adjustment layer. It's kind of the same thing. It's just with it selected here, Okay, we're going to make sure creator's turned on. Okay, and then we're going to go through and pick whatever one you liked. Okay, I used the Bleach HDR, and you'll notice that it's applied to this whole thing. You have to have the adjustment layer selected for that to work, and now anything underneath it has changed. Okay, let's just do a really big, I'm going to do faded film. So it's a really big clear change. You can see it applies to them all. I kind of like that. Let's go there. So adjustment layers are handy for both color correcting if you're doing general stuff for everything, but it's really good for this color grading. Okay, where we add a look just to that, we can adjust it and turn it off. You can just extend it along forever as you keep adding footage. All right, that is the magical adjustment layer. Let's get on to the next video. All right, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, give the video a like. Consider subscribing to the channel here, and also, if you want to go a bit further with Premiere Pro, consider checking out my Premiere Pro Essentials course. There is a link in the description. Bye now.